In this topic, you will learn how the current finance budget functionality has been improved, how to create budgets with more than three dimensions, and how the budget-related functionalities have been modified. Prior to version 11, analytical budgets could only be created based on three dimensions. Now, the budget functionality has been improved so it is possible to define a budget with up to nine dimension types. All related functions such as budget entry, budget adjustments, budget calculation, budget copy, financial data extraction on budget data, reports, import templates, and budget control have been adapted accordingly. Therefore, all existing controls previously available on three dimensions have been implemented on the additional dimensions. Note, operating budgets have not been modified and still run on three dimensions. When setting up a budget, up to nine dimensions can be entered. The maximum number of dimension types must be indicated at the budget entry transaction level. Note, for existing transactions, this field will be set to 3. The report BUD ODS Budget Adjustments has been updated to display 9 dimensions. Additional lines have been included to display dimensions 4 through 6 and dimensions 7 through 9. Now you can see that the budget calculations have been updated to manage the nine dimensions. Missing controls have also been added. It is no longer possible to calculate a closed version or to use inactive dimension types or dimensions. Groups of company and validity periods are also controlled. The operating budget will continue managing only three dimensions. The order of the dimension types in the operating budget is as follows. Dimension type flagged entity, dimension type flagged envelope, and any dimension type. The template BUP and associated processes used to import budgets now manage up to nine dimensions. The order of the dimension fields DIE star and CEE star in the import file does not have to respect the order of the dimensions in the budget. DIE star and CEE star values must be coherent. The import template BDO and associated process now manage up to nine dimensions. The order of the dimensions CEE star fields must be respected in the import file. The template BUC and associated process used to import budget calculation now manage up to nine dimensions. The budget reports will be deleted when migrating to version 11 from previous updates or versions. The dimension balance inquiry has been updated to manage up to nine dimensions. Since the inquiry EDITBLA uses links between tables and sorts based on fields, new controls have been added for technical and performance issues. The maximum number of tables in the request link is 12. Tables GAC, COUNT, ACCES, and AFC, TFCY are always included in the link. Each dimension or account pyramid adds one table in the link. The maximum number of fields in the request sort is 16. Fields FCY and CUR are always used in the sort. Each dimension or account without pyramid adds one field in the sort, while dimensions or accounts with pyramids adds two tables to the sort. A message is displayed if one limit and or the other is reached. Limit for sort 22 fields out of 16 
and or for links 13 tables out of 12 exceeded, please change your inquiry criteria. In this case, it is necessary to remove accumulation levels or pyramids in the criteria to execute the query. Note, report BALANA associated to the query has not been modified. You will see that the financial data extraction function has been updated to manage up to nine dimensions. When defining a formula for budget accounting with the assistant, it is possible to use up to nine dimensions. Once the data has been calculated, the cell details can be accessed. We can find the balance detailed up to nine dimensions or pyramids. This demonstration shows how to set up a budget and entry transaction, and then using both how to create a budget entry, a budget adjustment, and how to check the result through the Dimension Balances Inquiry. We start by creating a new budget. Go to Set Up Financials Budget. We're going to create a new budget. Click New. We'll name it NA4BU. We'll select company and then enter currency of US dollar. We'll enter NA1 for our chart of accounts and our dimension type of CCT for cost center, PRJ for project, PRO for product, and MAR for market. So we'll have four dimensions used. We'll also make sure that we have version one enabled. and then click Create. Next, we are going to create a new transaction entry screen based on the four dimensions. We'll go to Setup, Financials, Budget Entry Transactions. We'll create a new budget entry transaction based on the STDD transaction screen. We'll call ours STD4D. We'll change our maximum number of dimension types to four. And we'll make sure our budget category is set to dimension. We'll click Create and accept the copy. Now, let's enter budget information using our new budget and our budget entry screen that we just created. We'll go to Financials, Budget, and Budget Entry. We'll use our STD 4D entry screen. We'll enter our NA4BU budget, and we'll enter in for company NA20, version 1, and we'll put a beginning date of January 1st, 2016, and a period end date of December 31st, 2016. And then we'll put in our account 41100 and click OK. Our cost center will be finance. Our project will be project 01. Our product will be product 121. And our market will be services. We'll come down and enter in an amount of $12,000. And then we'll click Save. Now, using the same budget screen, let's try to use a different entry screen. We'll close the page and we'll go back into Financials Budget Entry. 
and this time we'll select the STD standard and we'll put in our budget of NA4BU and notice that the STDD had three dimensions and our budget has four dimensions and there is a new budget error message that will display if we try to mix the two. Now we are going to make an adjustment to our four dimension budget. From the financials menu we will select budget miscellaneous operations. We'll click new and select our NA4 BU budget. Select version V1 and we'll enter in our company of NA20. We'll put in a July 1st start date and a July 31st end date. Our account number will be 41100 and our cost center will be finance. Our project will be project 01. Our product will be 121. And our market will be service. Our amount will be $1,000. And then we'll click Create and close the page. Now let's take a look at our budget entries. Let's go to the Financials Inquiries and select Dimension Balances. We'll enter in our company NA20 and we'll select our budget NA4BU version 1. The first start date is going to be June 1st 2016 through June 30th, 2016. Our second period date will be July 1st, 2016 through July 31st, 2016. We're going to remove all of our columns and we're going to add a budget column for each period. Next, we will select Accounts and then we'll select Dimensions with a dimension type of Cost Center. We'll click OK and then fill in our screen code. We'll select Standard and then click OK. Notice we now have our account budget for both periods July and June and our cost center for finance. You have learned that in V11 the budget can be defined with up to nine dimensions. You have learned that the related functions are affected and finally, you now see that all controls reflect the nine dimensions.